Hello dear students. So welcome back in our next lecture. Okay. So uh, we will start in today's lecture that is bonding in coordination compounds. What beta? Yes. Bonding in bonding in coordination compounds okay so see here bonding in coordination compounds so basically here in this bonding in coordination compounds three theories were important three theories okay so in that first in that first Werner's Werner's coordination theory Werner's coordination theory ठीक है second you are say first is what Werner's coordination theory second valence valence bond theory valence bond theory as you know you already this discuss in chemical bonding and molecular structures okay that is vbt valence bond theory and your third third crystal field theory crystal field theory so we can write as a cft okay so this theory we are going to discuss in today's but we will start with this first Werner's coordination theory okay so concentrate on this first that is Werner's coordination theory okay so here very much important part okay so that part is what when coordination compound will form okay when coordination compound will form at that time okay at that time whatever your coordination complex they are showing two types of valency what beta two types of valency you are in that small a uh, we can write as a okay small a we can write as a primary yes what beta primary valencies and second is what second is what second is your secondary valency secondary valency okay means whenever coordination compound will form at that time they will form what yes your primary valencies and secondary valencies okay so how it is say we can write as a definition generally in a complex or coordination compound the central metal atom have two types of valency that is primary valency and secondary valency so we will write in a definition form this what will be here okay what will be the coordination in this coordination compound primary valency and secondary valency so we will define this okay so see here how we can define see first is what beta yes first is what regarding we have to write primary valency okay in primary valency pay attention primary valency denotes primary valency we can write as a pv primary valency denotes or represents represents okay denotes or represents okay oxidation number of say oxidation oxidation number of central metal atom central metal atom and it is always satisfied by and it is 
always satisfied by and is always satisfied by negative ligands what beta is negative ligands and one of the most important part regarding your this primary valency is primary valency k it can represent by dotted lines it can represents by yes dotted lines okay now one of the most remarkable uh, statement regarding this your primary valency is primary valencies are ionizable okay primary primary valencies are ionizable okay primary valencies are what ionizable okay now we will uh, discuss regarding what will happen for second that is secondary yes secondary valency okay secondary valency regarding secondary valency what will happen see secondary valency represents secondary valency denotes or represents here secondary valency represent coordination number what represents coordination number so that we saw already what is the coordination number okay of the central metal atom of the central metal central metal atom okay now one of the remarkable statement also and can be satisfied by what is secondary valency and can be satisfied by both both which ligand c negative and neutral ligand both negative and neutral ligands okay negative and neutral ligands now we can write secondary valency is what yes secondary valency is non ionizable valency non ionizable valency and it is denoted by what yes and it is denoted by solid lines okay and it is whatever secondary valency it is denoted by it is denoted by it is denoted by solid lines okay whereas your this primary valency denoted by or represented by dotted lines here what with solid lines okay i hope you understood this now we will uh, see we will explain with help of example theek okay. hai with the help of example we can show how your secondary valency and primary valency will uh, vary theek okay. hai so see here we will discuss here example say co cl3 dot 6 nh3 okay so for it is a one of the coordination compound co cl3 dot 6 nh3 so see how i can uh, draw see okay so see it is uh, your primary valency it satisfy with uh, negative ligands so yes negative ligands are there your chlorine as like this okay understood now and can represent whatever your primary valency it is represent with oxidation number of that central metal atom 
so we will discuss that also so see here here your ammonia total 6 ammonia here also ammonia now ammonia here okay then here also total 6 are there like that we can represent suppose there couple has a formula lihachasil okay coordination compounds a formula how that complex we can represent so say uh, with the help of like this we can represent on the base of this coordination compound co nh3 6 okay and what here cl3 means it is a total six coordination number understood so beta here we can write okay we can write primary valence how much three it is denoted by so dotted lines and uh, what it can related with your oxidation number also understood it can represent your oxidation number also it is with represent with dotted lines satisfy with negative ligands so negative what your chlorine is a negative ligands understood this okay now your secondary valence yes secondary valence is what yes coordination number so coordination number with respect to the center metal atom how much six i hope you understood okay suppose we will take another example okay co cl3 dot 5 nh3 suppose i will write of this so as like this we can represent yes co yes here cl take a here also your cl here also your cl total how many are there yes total five ammonia ammonia okay this ammonia here also we can write ammonia total five are there nh3 and here also what your nh3 now suppose if you wrote suppose upon guy look just say it upon coordination compound complex lila formula coordination yeah coordination compound to say the complex upon lila like that we have to draw for this coordination compound we have to draw actual formula okay so see here how we can write say so obviously total here 5 n is there, are there so it is what octahedral means coordination number 6 only so as like this okay so say cu tk nh3 5 one cl means total six here n is three five and this one ligand okay and down sorry and what coordination sphere out of the coordination sphere is what yes ionization sphere okay means here total six ligands are there yes like that here means see what will happen here suppose whenever we have to write primary valence c and what secondary valence c regarding this so how we can write easy yes primary valence how much is nearly equal to there what yes oxidation number so here how much oxidation number of this cobalt three okay and secondary valence c also six as like this three total five are there and is one so coordination number with respect to this central metal atom is how much six that is your secondary valency i hope you understood now here one more remarkable remarkable uh, representation see here how we can uh, draw okay so say whatever your this chlorine this chlorine we can show with the help of solid line also because this one chlorine is in your coordination sphere 
means this can act as a both primary valency as well as secondary valency okay understood because one chlorine is inside your coordination sphere so that why that's why we can show as a both solid lines as well as what dotted lines understood so these are what you are regarding regarding your Werner's coordination theory okay suppose if you will took here examples okay suppose here examples now see suppose i will write here one example k4 fe cn6 so can you tell me can you tell me the secondary valence and primary valency of this yes but a primary valency regarding your this complex how much we already drawn we already calculate the oxidation number of this iron how much h2 yes, and secondary valency is what obviously 6 because coordination number with the respect to this central metal atom is 6 okay i hope you understood this example correctly okay ठीक है नाउ लाइक दैट वी कैन शो वट एवर योर प्राइमरी वैलेंसीज एंड सेकेंडरी वैलेंसीज आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड ऑल एंड यू रिमूव नोट्स ऑल्सो ठीक है सो वी विल डिस्कस नेक्स्ट पे टेंशन ऑन दिस वट एवर नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज देयर ओके सो से we want some extra space for dealing with next okay so see here we will write here one question ready say we will deal one question write down that question ptcl4 okay ptcl4 and ammonia may form may form five complexes how many complexes yes five complexes which are those they already given in your this question okay so we will write okay so see suppose capital a okay suppose capital a they gave here PtCl4.6NH3 फोर डॉट सिक्स एन एच थ्री ठीक है कैपिटल बी दे गेव पी टी सी एल फोर डॉट फाइव एन एच थ्री कैपिटल सी दे गेव पी टी सी एल फोर डॉट फोर एन एच थ्री कैपिटल डी दे गेव पी टी सी एल फोर डॉट थ्री एन एच थ्री and capital e they gave yes ptcl4 okay ptcl4 dot dot twice in history suppose this they gave theek okay. hai now we will see what will happen of this coordination compounds okay what will happen of this coordination compound theek okay. hai so what will happen see one vein one mole of each okay so we can write is as a question one mole one mole of h when reacts with when reacts with when reacts with excess of excess of agno3 to give to give four three to give what yes to give what four three two one and zero moles of moles of agcl agcl where agcl where precipitate okay 4 3 2 1 
1 and 0 moles of AgCl when precipitated. So what will happen say? PtCl4 6 in 3 when it will react with AgNO3 this all will react with AgNO3. Okay. Now see what will happen. Okay. Here one of the most important part means easy to recognize such type of okay easy to recognize such type of whatever numericals or as a question okay now obviously when you are these all compounds individually when reacts with this silver nitrate so AgCl AgCl will precipitate AgCl will precipitate okay now they give here how much 4 moles here 3 here 2 here 1 and here 0 moles they will precipitate so meaning of this when 4 moles will precipitate when 3 2 1 and 0 moles precipitate so it is based on your ionizable valences or out of the coordination sphere how many ionizable spaces are there depends on this will precipitate so we have to write here what we have to write here formula of that complexes tk so see uh, how you will get as a a you will get say a you will get with the formula pt so total four four they were precipitated in first case yes so four chlorine must be out of the coordination sphere means we call it as a what ionization sphere so see pt yes nh36 and here how much cl4 so understood first a what will be the coordination complex tk now see what will happen of for next b obviously pt so three moles were precipitated agcl three moles were precipitated so it means that three chlorine must be out of the coordination sphere missed here means where here that is ionizable okay how much ionizable four that's why four moles of agcl were precipitated like that we have to derive coordination complex okay we have to write the formula of that complex it is very much important means it is your answer okay it is what your answer okay now see for three they gave what three yes so see here uh, how much simple nh3 yes nh3 5 okay nh3 5 here one cl and uh, out of this means ionizable how much three so see whatever our here they give coordination compound here whatever they give coordination compound same whatever they are fixing means whatever same molecular formula we have to write but how many moles are there according to we have to write so say pt nh3 5 cl4 total so one cl in coordination sphere and out of the coordination sphere three because these three are ionizable and how many in second three moles of agcl were precipitated okay so whenever write of this c you can write as like this pt pt okay pt nh3 4 okay pt nh3 4 so total 2 are there so here what cl2 and out of the coordination sphere cl2 means these are what ionizable means here 4 moles here 3 moles here 2 moles means jk he molecular compound I have coordination compound it is to the upon tiger to a balance for to a understood with respect to our answer okay okay now here they are what 
पी टी एन एच थ्री ये टोटल हाउ मेनी आर देर थ्री सो हियर वॉट सी एल थ्री एंड वन ओनली आयोनाइजेबल सो दिस सी एल फोर दैट्स वाई फोर मोल्स दैट्स वाई वॉट फोर मोल्स ऑफ ए जी सी एल प्रेसिपिटेट हियर थ्री देर फोर थ्री मोल्स ऑफ ए जी सी एल प्रेसिपिटेटेड हियर टू दैट्स वाई टू मोल्स ऑफ ए जी सी एल प्रेसिपिटेट हियर वन देर फोर दिस वन मोल ऑफ ए जी सी एल प्रेसिपिटेट नाउ सी लास्ट PT yes PT yes NH3 टू सी एल फोर मीन्स वी हैव टू बैलेंस आइदर हियर से कॉर्डिनेशन नंबर सिक्स ऑल्सो वी हैव टू बैलेंस मीन्स आइदर यूर कॉम्प्लेक्स इज ऑक्टा हाइड्रल और टेट्रा हाइड्रल डैट वी हैव टू बैलेंस ओके मीन्स आइदर हियर सिक्स सो सी इन ईच कॉर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड इन कॉर्डिनेशन स्पेयर टोटल सिक्स लेगेंड्स आर प्रेजेंट ओके सो टेक केयर ऑफ दिस ऑल्सो मीन्स हियर जीरो जीरो मोल्स ऑफ इजिशियल वेर प्रेसिपिटेटेड अंडरस्टूड ठीक है सो लाइक दैट इट इज वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन so we will deal some other questions also okay we will deal some other questions also they may ask in okay or, or we can say uh, these are question from your ncrt okay these are question from what ncrt exercise or either ncrt intake question We are, you have to refer these books also in CRT. Okay. Now see, uh, they gave here one question as like this. See, as like this, they gave one question. When coordination compound, when a coordination coordination compound, okay. CrCl3.6H2O थ्री डॉट सिक्स एच टू ओ इज इज मिक्सड विथ इज मिक्सड विथ ए जी एन ओ थ्री ए जी एन ओ थ्री टू मोल्स ऑफ ए जी सी एल आर प्रेसिपिटेटेड पर मोल ऑफ द कंपाउंड पर मोल ऑफ द कंपाउंड देन राइट देन राइट ओके देन राइट से फर्स्ट स्ट्रक्चरल फॉर्म्यूला ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स देन राइट स्ट्रक्चरल फॉर्म्यूला ऑफ द कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड सेकेंड राइट आर यू पी ए सी नेम ऑल्सो एंड राइट आर यू पी ए सी नेम ऑल्सो ठीक है सी यर हाउ वी कैन राइट दिस स्ट्रक्चरल फॉर्म्यूला ऑफ द कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड विथ आई यू पी ए सी नॉमिंग लेचर ओके सो सी वॉट विल हैपन say as you know whenever we are to write thing the answer crcl3.6h2 okay when mix with hno3 plus hno3 so obviously here also what hcl were precipitate so and they gave number of this so two moles therefore obviously out of the coordination sphere how many chlorines are there two ठीक है देन यू विल गेट हाउ यू आर नो फॉर्म्यूला से सी आर ओके एच टू ओ फाइव वन सी एल ओके एंड हियर वॉट सी एल टू मीन्स वी यूज एच टू ओ फाइव बिकॉज टोटल टू मोल्स एंड हियर टोटल इन अवर हैंड थ्री एंड आउट ऑफ द कॉन्डिशन स्पेयर सी एल एंड वन इज Inside the coordination sphere. Dot H2O. 
okay so it is your answer understood it is what your answer they may uh, give as a in uh, option forms also okay so take care of this uh, very much important part whatever this warner coordination theory now here we have to write what beta here we have to write the iupsc name also so see here what will be the iupsc name you can write yes penta aqua penta aqua first ligand then chlorido penta aqua chlorido chromium yes how many oxidation number yes third here minus one here two minus chromium third chloride monohydrate what beta monohydrate single water means we can say as a water of crystallization monohydrate ठीक है बीज आर वॉट मोनोहाइड्रेट आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड दिस कंटेन दिस क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो ओके सपोज आई विल राइट हियर अनदर क्वेश्चन सो पे अटेंशन ऑन दैट अनदर क्वेश्चन आई विल राइट इमिजिएटली सो से सपोज दे गेव लाइक दिस सी ओ सी एल थ्री डॉट सिक्स एन एच थ्री plus agno3 okay when it mixed with agno3 this your coordination compound when it mixed with agno3 then what will happen they are they giving how many yes two moles suppose they give here not two moles sorry suppose they give here three moles what three moles of agcl where precipitate then what will happen here okay now again same draw the structural formula of the complex and write the iupsc name on the base of this coordination compound we can write easily so see how we can write yes cu okay ionizable 3 so here also 6 3cl no issue nh3 6 and here what yes cl3 so obviously here you will get 3 moles of hcl easily you will get and you will get a answer also of this question now what iupsc name we have to write so you can write yes how we can write hexamine yes or no hexamine cobalt yes hexamine cobalt now what will be the oxidation number of this cobalt hexamine cobalt third chloride third chloride because see here as you know x plus 0 Plus minus three is equal to zero because each chlorine is minus one. Here three chlorine, therefore minus three. Okay, therefore x is equal to how much? Plus three. I hope you understood this all contained. Okay, easily. Okay. Now see. Now, beta, we will discuss next. okay some limitations uh, of uh, this warner coordination theory also so basically this warner coordination theory is the father of coordination compounds okay okay now we will write here what limitations of what see limitations limitations of warner's coordination theory warner's coordination theory theek okay. hai so say first 
first it cannot explain why coordination compounds are formed only by some metals it cannot explain you have to write whatever i am saying okay theek hai it cannot explain why coordination compounds are formed only by some metals theek hai so second you can write it cannot explain how secondary valency defines it cannot explains why okay how secondary valency defines the geometry of the complex and your third you have to write this limitations it cannot explains magnetic and optical properties of complex compounds it cannot explains what magnetic and optical properties of complex compounds so and also uh, how uh, this coordination compounds are colored that also uh, werner theory could not explain okay okay so this thing uh, you have to mention in limitations part okay uh, so these are what regarding your yes these are what regarding your werner's coordination theory now we will discuss okay valence bond theory okay what beta second second is what our yes see valence bond theory valence bond theory is what vbt uh, actually as you know this theory uh, you saw in chemical bonding and molecular structure on the basis of this theory uh, we derive hybridization of compounds okay now here main assumptions are important in that first assumption is what whatever uh, always keep in mind whatever your mt sp d or atomic orbital they are equal to what here coordination number of center metal ion okay now whatever the vacant orbital get hybridized to produce equal number of hybridized orbitals of same energy vacant orbital stick okay? vacant orbital get hybridized okay vacant orbitals get hybridized to produce equal numbers of hybridized orbitals of same energy of what of same energy okay and shape same energy and shape which are arranged in which are arranged in a definite geometry geometry okay now whatever this thing of same energy and shape which are arranged definite geometry this thing we will discuss in whatever 11 standard chemical bonding also whenever uh, we are drawing the structure okay now whatever second assumption second assumption suppose it is what your first assumption now in second assumption okay so second assumption what will happen say so as you know in each and every ligands okay what either they are negative ligands or uh, your positive ligand they have must it must contain at least one sigma orbitals one sigma orbitals okay containing 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 what lone pair of electrons sigma orbital containing lone pair of electron and whatever this sigma orbital containing lone pair of ligand concrete containing lone pair of electrons of ligand they overlap okay they overlap by the vacant hybridized orbital vacant hybridized orbitals of metal atoms of 
सेंट्रल मेटल आइटम्स और आयन्स टू फॉर्म टू फॉर्म से टू फॉर्म लाइक दैट कॉम्प्लेक्स लेगैन टू मेटल सिग्मा बॉन्ड इज फॉर्म वॉट लेगैन टू मेटल सिग्मा बॉन्ड इज फॉर्म दैट कम दैट बॉन्ड वी कैन कॉल इट एज अ कॉर्डिनेट वॉट कॉर्डिनेट बॉन्ड वी कॉल इट एज अ कॉर्डिनेट बॉन्ड सो बेसिकली दीज आर वॉट वी कैन से एज अ थेरोटिकल बैकग्राउंड रिगार्डिंग यर वी बी टी एंड दैट यू स्टडी इन प्रायर ऑल्सो इन केमिकल बॉन्डिंग एंड मॉलिकुलर स्ट्रक्चर ओके नाउ हियर मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट ओके मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट रिलेटेड विथ दिस इज ओके द टाइप ऑफ हाइब्रिडाइजेशन एंड जोमेट्री ऑफ द complex okay so here the type of hybridization the type of hybridization and geometry of the complex geometry of the complex can be decided can be decided on the basis of on the basis of coordination number so see how is coordination number i discuss prior in uh, previous video also say coordination number take okay. a then here what hybridization and here what geometry say we can write like this 2 4 Six. Mainly these are th okay. Coordinate number two, four. Means tetrahedral six is what your octahedral. Okay. Now say hybridization here two. Hybridization is what sp. So geometry what linear four is what. This four will divided into two parts. That is sp three and dsp two. Sp three we are writing what. tetrahedral take a dsp to what square planar and here sp3 is what sorry for 6 for when coordination number 6 okay here also as like this sp3 d2 hybridization and what d2 sp3 hybridization and togetherly whatever you will get the geometry of that complex is octahedral octahedral i think this uh, we saw in previous uh, video also okay now see next point we will discuss in this uh, valence bond theory okay so pay attention next point regarding our valence bond theory okay so as you know ligands so this ligands so we can write here as a further further ligands can be okay further ligands can be classified further ligands can be classified as okay what beta yes strong field strong field ligands okay and second what beta weak field weak field ligands strong field ligands and weak field ligands so you can write uh this all ligands okay so say i am writing here as like this strong field to weak field all okay so say carbonyl there after your cyanide there after your c6h5 there after your ch3 minus then no2 
then what your NH3 PY okay thereafter what EDTA okay NCS NCS is what isothiocyanate isothiocyanate okay thereafter we can write here say water so i will write here water okay o2 minus then what ox that is oxalate ion hydroxo hydroxide ion f minus thereafter what n3 minus is what nitride ion cl minus okay scn minus what s2 minus sulfide ion here what br minus and last year what i minus last is what i minus okay so these are what order of strong field ligands to weak field ligand and we can also call it as as a disorder of increasing order of this complexes spectrochemical series what we can also call this series as a spectrochemical series now up to this okay up to pyridyl we can write as a these are what strong field ligands okay whatever this up to pyridine and here all these are what strong field ligands now here okay here up to say water from water say from water or we can say as a sorry not from pyridyl up to ncs we can write means isothiocyanate these are what generally strong field ligands okay from water from water what from water these are here weak field ligands okay means suppose most commonly ata yachamadhe generally frequently the common apan use karto that is your cobalt sorry carbonyl that is co cn uh, then your nh3 okay water oxalate oh minus f minus cl br i minus keep in mind so we this use as a frequently this ligands okay so water is what your weak field and this other one up to this range these are what strong field ligands okay so keep in mind this all okay now suppose if you are discussing here strength of strength of ligand so you can observe here okay strength of ligands or uh, strength of ligand we can say as a here say strength of ligand means what donating electron pair tendency tendency to donate electron pair is maximum for what carbonyl means we can write here as like this order carbon families so carbon donor okay is greater than say we can observe here nitrogen okay nitrogen donor okay then what oxygen donor see after this what oxygen now next is what halogen halogen donor okay means carbon family group 14 15 16 17 okay oxygen family carbon family like that tendency to donate electron pair for maximum for carbon then nitrogen then oxygen then halogen okay so like that these are what your vbt theory and applications of vbt we have to discuss okay so that we will discuss 
in next lecture okay up till that i hope you understood this all content clearly you have to prepare notes very carefully neatly okay if any doubts that we can uh, we will discuss in our doubt session part so thank you very much and take care